in this video we are going to discuss about functions of operating system or operating system components we know what is operating system operating system is an interface between user of the computer and computer hardware without installing operating system in the computer we can't perform any activity operating system mainly do five activities ma mainly do five functions those are also called as uh, the components of the operating system so mainly uh, five functions are there or five components are there uh, let us do all those functions one by one uh, so here the major functions of operating system or process management main memory management secondary memory management file management io system management these five are the major functions or the components of the operating system let us see all those five functions one by one the first function of the operating system is process management the first function is process management first let us see what is a process process means process means a program in execution a program in execution we know what is a program program means a collection of instructions that are useful to solve a specific problem uh, here after typing the program uh, it may be either c program or c++ or uh, java or c sharp python any program after typing the program so whenever we save the program the program will be saved in hard disk during compilation also the program will resides in hard disk but at the time of execution operating system loads the program from hard disk to main memory why because we know that uh, cpu is the brain of the computer cpu can also be called as processor it is the responsibility of the cpu to execute a program any activity is executed with the help of cpu but cpu can access only main memory cpu cannot access secondary memory so during execution operating system transfers the program from hard disk to main memory now the program is loaded into main memory now the program is called as process so what is a process process means a program in execution so during execution operating system loads the program from hard disk into the main memory so if the program is loaded into the main memory then it is called as a process okay so this is the uh, definition for the process uh, now let us see what are the functions of the operating system so uh, in connection with uh, in connection with process management operating system do several activities the first one is operating system create a process operating system create a process in connection with process management operating system will do all these activities okay uh, it creates a process and it also suspend a process if the program requires some io operation it will suspends the process and it uh, uh, after uh, suspension is over uh, in order to resume that process it is the duty of the operating system only to resume the process uh, next uh, uh, it will handle uh, uh, process communication so handle uh, uh, we have uh, uh, inter process communication ipc so ipc means uh, uh, inter process communication and we have a concept called uh, uh, process synchronization so process synchronization uh, will also be handled by the operating system only in connection with process management and deadlocks so deadlocks also handled by operating system only okay so deadlocks are also handled okay so in connection with uh, process management operating system do all these activities okay we know that nowadays we are using multi programming system 
in a multi programming system multiple programs that means multiple processes resides in the main memory if a program is loaded into the main memory then it is called as a process okay uh, so in a multi programming system we can have multiple processes resides in the main memory so out of all those processes which process we have to execute first next which process we needs to execute that should be decided based upon process scheduling algorithms so process scheduling determines in which order the corresponding processes needs to be executed we have different types of scheduling algorithms such as fcfs sjf shortest remaining time first srtf uh, next we have priority scheduling algorithm round robin scheduling algorithm okay so by using all these algorithms operating system decides in which order it needs to execute the processes here process management is a chapter in uh, operating system subject okay so you can write anything about the process okay in this concept okay it is a chapter so we have several concepts are there so we can uh, explain all those concepts uh, okay in this concept now let us see about uh, uh, the second function of the operating system or the second component of the operating system that is main memory management so we have we need to handle operating system needs to handle main memory as well as secondary memory also first let us see about main memory management main memory management so when operating system loads the program from hard disk into the main memory already we have seen that point okay so after saving the program the program resides in hard disk only but uh, so during compilation also the program resides in hard disk only but at the time of execution operating system loads the program from hard disk into the main memory why because cpu has to execute the process or program but cpu can access only main memory only cpu cannot access hard disk cpu cannot access secondary memory so that is the first task here okay uh, in connection with uh, Uh, main memory management uh, operating system mainly performs some activities the first activity is during execution operating system loads the program from hard disk into the main memory so for that purpose it uses uh, several allocation techniques we will discuss those techniques later okay so this is the first one operating system loads the program into main memory from the hard disk during the execution okay next uh, once all those operations are over once all those operations are over it deallocates the memory so that means uh, uh, once again the operating system has to transfer the program from main memory to the secondary memory why because the size of the main memory is very very small whereas the size of the hard disk is extremely larger so once the execution is over once the execution is over operating system has to has to transfer that program that process from main memory to the secondary memory so that operating system may use that space in order to store some other programs okay so these two are the major activities that the operating system will do in connection with the main memory management so the first activity is transferring the program from hard disk to the main memory and the second activity is after execution is over it once again needs to transfer that process from main memory to the secondary memory now let us see how the operating system will allocates the memory in order to allocate memory for the corresponding process operating system mainly uses uh, two approaches the first approach is uh, contiguous memory allocation the first approach is contiguous memory allocation in contiguous memory allocation Uh, we have two approaches are there first one is mft mft stands for multi programming m stands for multi programming with f stands for fixed fixed t stands for tasks so multi programming with fixed task or we can also called as fixed partitions 
and the second approach is MVT multi programming with v stands for variable t stands for tasks so in the olden days operating system uses these two this approach whereas nowadays operating system is using the second approach that is nothing but non contiguous allocation non contiguous allocation for non contiguous allocation the best examples are the first example is pacing pacing the second example is segmentation the first one is pacing second one is segmentation so these two are the non contiguous memory allocation techniques okay here main memory management is a chapter in operating system so once uh, you understand all those concepts of the main memory then you can write uh, more more points here also okay so in this way operating system handle main memory management now let us see the third one that is uh, secondary memory management secondary memory management how operating system handles the secondary memory okay so this is smaller topic only secondary memory management secondary memory management okay secondary memory management so here also we know what is the advantage of the secondary memory already we have seen main memory main memory means ram main memory is a volatile memory main memory is a volatile memory volatile means the contents of the main memory will be lost when you switch off the computer so when we when the power is turned off then what will happen the contents of the main memory will be lost so we need to have a device which stores our information permanently so for that purpose we are using secondary memory the best example for the secondary memory is hard disk hard disk is non volatile memory non volatile means our data will be stored permanently in the computer even though we switch off the computer there is no problem our data will be stored permanently in the computer so whenever we save any program then it is stored in the hard disk during compilation also it is in the hard disk but at the time of execution operating system transfers the program from hard disk into the main memory why because cpu can execute the program only when it resides in main memory only after the execution is over once again that program will be transferred from hard disk to the uh, i'm sorry once again that program will be transferred from the main memory to the hard disk okay uh, why because the size of the main memory is very very small when compared with uh, the size of the secondary memory okay here in order to uh, manage the secondary memory uh, here also we have three approaches are there uh, the first approach is uh, uh, we have contiguous allocation contiguous allocation so by using this approach operating system can stores the corresponding program in the hard disk okay so when it will saves uh, after the execution that program will be transferred from the main memory to the hard disk or initially initially after typing is over we have to save the program so in those two occasions for saving the program into the hard disk it uses contiguous allocation next one is linked list allocation linked list allocation third approach is indexed allocation indexed allocation mainly it uses uh, these three approaches in order to store the data in the in order to store the data in the corresponding secondary memory so in this way operating system handles secondary memory uh, we have uh, a chapter called uh, disk management okay there uh, you will get some more uh, idea about uh, secondary memory management okay so this is also a chapter in the operating system so once you understand that those concepts then uh, you can write uh, more points okay and the uh, fourth uh, function of the operating system is file management file management let us see what is a file so file means uh, a collection of related information so file means a collection of related information if you take employee file employee file contains employee related information if you take student file it contains student related information uh, and uh, we have uh, some more points regarding files also there a file means uh, uh, a collection of uh, a file contains uh, a collection of uh, we can have words and characters 
bytes bits bytes bit so a file is a collection of words or before this we can write line a file is a collection of lines where each line contains a collection of words every word contains a collection of characters each character is a collection of bytes byte is a collection of bits okay so file means a collection of lines words characters bytes and bits okay uh, in connection with file management uh, operating system do several activities such as uh, creating a file uh, deleting a file creating a directory deleting a directory opening a file open operation read operation read operation uh, write operation uh, next the append operation copy operation merge operation merge operation likewise operating system perform various uh, per operations on the files and the directories okay we know what is a directory directory means a collection of files if you want to organize uh, uh, hundreds of files thousands of files then directories are uh, used okay so in this way operating system handles uh, file management now let us see the last one that is io management io management or io system management io system management so we know what is io io stands for input and output devices so input devices are useful in order to provide information to the computer whereas output devices are useful in order to display information on the computer for displaying we use output devices whereas for inputting purpose we use input devices so the commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse scanner pointer these are the commonly used input devices the commonly used output devices are printer and scanner okay here every input output device contains a device driver file a device driver file okay a device driver file okay it is some software it is a program okay uh, keyboard contains some driver file printer contains some driver file scanner contains some device driver file like that so let us assume that we have given a printout then it is the responsibility of the operating system uh, to allocate the printer so for that purpose first operating system sends a signal to the device driver printed driver file printed devi driver file so now printed with the help of the now printer driver file uh, uh, will gives that instruction to the printer so printer will perform the printing okay so we can work with the corresponding component only with the help of the driver file only so in between the uh, operating system and the io device we have a driver file so driver file acts as a mediator uh, between those two okay uh, so these are the uh, various functions of the operating system or uh, operating system components